Hey everybody, this is Chris. Uh, like I said in the last tutorial, I wanted to go ahead and clean this uh, little Fluent Query name, little name app that we're creating. I want to clean it up and uh, make it look presentable because we're also going to use it in another tutorial using Eloquent. So you're really not going to learn anything in here. Well, yeah, you will. You'll learn a little bit more about uh, kind of like integrating Bootstrap and uh, a little bit more thing on the HTML side of Laravel and using some more of the HTML tags. So first of all, I'm going to take this index and just uh, let's just like copy that, cut this, and I'm going to create a new view in here. Get rid of this one. Don't need that. Uh, We'll call create new file and call it create. So create that blade PHP. We'll save that and we're going to throw that code in there. But we're going to change this too because uh, we're just going to change the layout. So we have index here. <coughs> Excuse me. And here we're just going to say extends with the layouts that master. Okay. And we're going to say at section content. Now this is going to be pretty bootstrap specific, so if you're not using bootstrap, then feel free to just follow along whatever free, uh, framework you're using. If you're not using anything at all, then I mean, feel free to do your own CSS, but all users. Here is, you know, we're just physically inputting uh, users right now. So this is going to help us once we start getting into even uh, using controllers and resources. So we say X, uh, HTML link to. Um, we're going to have another a route called create. And we'll just say add a new user. And I need to put that in quotation marks first. Add a new user. And we'll put that inside of a paragraph tag. Like so. I always like to have this spaced out. I'm just, I don't know. What are we going to do soon? We're going to do, you know, we're going to first uh, see if we have any users at all. So if users, and we're just going to count them. So if any users are present, right? We're just gonna we'll do this. So because you're using if and it's if this that whatever. So if table and we're just gonna use some classes here from Bootstrap. So table table striped table bordered. Sorry about that. It's a dot there. Dot table bordered. I am using Emmet, so if you haven't seen my other tutorial Emmet, then you don't understand what I'm doing. Uh, so just go and see that, watch that one. So table hover to t head and table row and table header, and the first one's going to be first name. And we'll have another one, which is last name. That's good enough for that. Let's go down here and take up the body. T body. Table is the best way to actually, if you're using formatted data, just to display it. So <coughs> here we're here's where we're gonna throw the loop. Now, if you remember earlier, we did a root a uh, loop inside here uh, to actually show us the users. And we're gonna do the same thing here. 
Uh, we're just going to use the blade for each statement. So for each, we're going to say users. Don't need the quotation marks here. For each user as, what are we calling this anyways? Uh, we ain't call it nothing yet, have we? Uh, we will. So each users as you and if you've watched any of my previous tutorials on level three, uh this is gonna look familiar as anything. So TR T D times uh we just got two, so times two. This one's gonna be um you first name or F name rather have to be this. You F name which is the first name, that's what we called it. And this is going to be you L name. <coughs> and this is it. So we can go ahead and end our for each here. I believe we'll look and see later if we have any errors. So end our for each here, and below our table here, we'll say at else. So if else is there, we'll just say error. There are new users, and then we you can say. And in diff, and then at stop. So there's our new little index. And we can actually see if this works. Actually, no, we have to have users. So here we'll say db, or actually. get this in here right so users equals db table and we're having test here and we're just gonna say get db users yet get and in here it's going to be Compact um, and its users. Use compact is just a way to, to pull all the information from an array and unlikely pass it into the view. So let's see if we have any errors here. Whoops, what did we go up? Um, I'm like known for doing this. I always forget this semicolon stuff. So what's it say here? Call to a function count on an object. So users. Oh, one second. So let's go ahead and just take this out and do this. There's so many different ways you can do this. Let's try. I don't know why it's not taking my variables here. So with users, users, let's go ahead and check this out now. It's saying the same thing. PGF users count. Oh, we can't use the count function. I think we'll just use is set. That should work too. So if is set users, let's try that. There we go. So we have all users add an user, and it's just giving us this little table thing.
So let's go ahead and set up the create. We have our little create thing here. Let's go ahead and clean this up a little bit too. Uh, leave that like it is. Let's put it in the container though. Get rid of all that at container. We'll put in a div. And put class, but we'll go ahead and put a class. And we'll say span four. Well. So let's, say, let's go ahead and open our form up. Actually, let's give it a legend. Yeah, let's do that first. Say legend and uh, add a user. Form open, array, URL, to, to that. Copy that. Form text F name the first name nothing uh, array placeholder that first name Text, no name, and there's a placeholder here. And say that's last name. We also need a submit button. So form submit say so add user we'll give it a class of an array. So we're gonna go to class of array class. Not a button, a button, and we say button. Button primary. We're also going to do some error validate error validation, so we'll do that next after we close this form. So form. Uh, close. this into another div so a dot span another div span four let's go ahead and make it a well also and in here we're just gonna have a ul and actually before we do that we're gonna throw an if statement so if official here at if see errors any so if there's any errors and we're going to create that in the route we are going to create an unordered list and we're going to create a list item we're going to use we're just going to say implode first value is going to be null and errors all inside that uh, we're going to say li we gave it a class of error so class equals error and we're going to return an error message and then close our li and that completes that
and we just need to end it. So and we'll do that. So at end if. So now we've set up some errors, so we're going to do some validation. So let's go into the routes here and go ahead and firstly let's go ahead and get that create route. So get create function. Return view make home dot create. Okay. And have that in there. Now, let's go ahead and set up some rules. So when we do validation, we have two things. We have rules and we have messages. The messages can be either Laravel generated or user generated. So this one, we're just going to set up some uh, rules. And it's the same thing as set up rules in Laravel 3. Nothing big. Nothing's really changed. So we're going to say F name. Required L name is required. And that's it for rules. Next, we're going to do custom custom messages. Now, this is the first time I'm, I've ever showed anybody how to do custom messages, and here it is. Actually, let's clean that up a little bit. So f name dot required. So for the require for the requirement for the f name, right? Field. And we're gonna say or let's say a first name is required. Okay. Now for the last name, we're going to do the same thing, which is L name dot required. So for the required portion of it, if it doesn't, if it's not there, we say a last name is required. And I'm going to go ahead and stop this video here because it's gotten up to almost 18 minutes and I'll complete the video in the next portion.